Alright, hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to uh, make a computer automatically start your uh, internet browser uh, with your favorite websites already pulled up. Uh, using the task manager and BAT, a compiler language on Windows. Alright, so create a new text document and name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it logon. Dot. And then after you name it what you want, name it dot bat. Get rid of the dot text so it just says your name and then dot bat. Right. This window rename should pop up and the icon should change if you click yes. If neither of those things happen then it is still a text file and you need to go to a folder, tools, folder options, view, and make sure hide extensions for known file types is unchecked. If you don't have classic folders enabled, which means it doesn't have this toolbar right here, go to uh, your control panel, and go to classic view, folder options, and it'll bring the same thing up. Or And if you want to uh, enable classic folders, it's under general tab and task. Alright, now right click this, edit. I should note that this will st you this will uh, work with any program. So if you want to start any program at all, even just you know your music favorite music playlist or whatever, you can uh, basically start uh, the name of your internet browser. Dot execute. Pretty easy. Uh, the execute browsers might be the execute files might be different. Like I think Internet Explorer is now IE seven dot x or whatever, but I don't know. Um, and then type quotations, uh, name of the website, I want myspace.com, then this uh, line, vertical line, which is right next to the brackets, the squiggly bracket and the square bracket, that you just hit shift, and then Google I want. YouTube dot YouTube dot com and I want my email Ugh. I want my email which is hotmail so and uh, hotmail dot com uh, close the current parentheses and save it and X out and try it out as you can see I don't have my internet browser running And all four of the tabs start up. Just to show you that I'm not a. Uh, it wasn't saved. I'm going to X out. Close tabs. Do not save. Click it. And as you can see, they're still there. Alright, that's part one. Stick this, uh. Stick this in a pretty permanent place. scheduler just by typing in task in the start run and it'll be called task scheduler with that icon clock icon. Alright, bring it up, create a new task, name it uh, log on or whatever you want. What name it whatever you want. Uh, make the triggers, make a new trigger and make it at login if you have multiple profiles and on at startup if you only have one. For me I only have one. Okay. Actions, new, start a program, browse, uh, go to your documents, and go to logon.bat. Okay. Conditions, you don't need any more conditions, and you don't need any of the settings. Alright, so now you have it. Every time you log on, any programs you want to start will uh, start. It's as long as you type the start and then the name of the program. And for internet browsers, if you want multiple websites, like I said, and within the quotation marks. It should work now. Just click Run to make sure it's functioning correctly, and as you can see, it, it is. Uh, this has been a video tutorial by Dr. Quillo. Thank you, and have a good day.